for tricking myself into writing. Because the fact of the matter is that writing is really scary. It's very daunting if you only do it every once in a blue moon because you just made a really awesome project and you want to tell other people how to make the thing you just made. And it's daunting if you do it every single day of your life and that's how you earn your daily bread. Um, because, well, there's sort of two sets of reasons for this. One is strictly biological. Uh, writing as an activity is almost perfectly maladaptive to every system of our body we use while we're doing it. It's bad for our eyes, it's bad for our hands, it's bad for our backs to sit down, it's bad to stare into a backlit screen. The other thing is strictly technological. Once upon a time, when we drafted our ideas, we put them on a piece of paper like this uh, in our own hand, and there was no way in the world you would ever mistake your newly minted, mewling, off-the-cuff idea, the thing you just made, and it's the polished words of a professional writer who's had the benefit of an editor, a copy editor, a proofreader, and a layout person. Nowadays, most of us move our writing into a word processor almost immediately. It, probably we even start there, and that causes us all the little squiggles, the red lines telling us it's misspelled, the green telling us we've misused which when we meant that. Um, that causes us to commit the, the first cardinal sin of writing, uh, which is that you never edit while you write. These should be two entirely separate processes. Uh, writing is something that you do with a steam shovel, just digging huge gouts out of the page in order to get the words up out of the living earth. And editing is something that you do with little brushes and dental tools to clear away all the cruft and find the gems. Um, and so the most of us move our writing and get to the place where when we try to write, we're just writing and we're not reading our words and editing ourselves and holding ourselves up for judgment against people who already have the benefit of that team of professionals. So here's what I suggest to you. This is the core technique. Write for 10 minutes per day. And there have to be three aspects to this practice to make it work. This is kind of just like practicing because you're going to run a marathon. Number one, when you're writing for those 10 minutes, you write non-stop. I don't care if you have to write over and over again, I'm writing a big pile of crap. I'm writing a big pile of crap. I'm writing a big pile of crap. You keep your fingers moving because at the very least, at the end of the 10 minutes, you've written the worst thing you're going to write that. Thing two, you puke up the draft on the page, swears and all. Let the thing that's inside of you pour out, no matter how ridiculous it sounds, because again, no one ever has to see it. And with my handwriting, no one can read it anyway. Thing three is that you need to write anywhere, anytime, no voodoo. Um, we allow ourselves to build these these, these habits up around our writing. Oh, I can only write in the morning after a good cup of coffee. I can only write when I'm having a beer. I can only write when I've got my special orgasm pen. Write <laughs> anywhere, doing anything. Write longhand on legal pads, especially if you hate writing longhand. Write in the little post-it note application on your, wor on your word processor, morning, noon, and night. Because the thing is, and this is no offense to artists, I was raised by artists, but when we think of writing as an art, we become worried that we're not going to be struck by, by inspiration when we're writing, and we scare ourselves away from it, because what if the fire doesn't come? And so what I invite you to do is to focus on it only as a craft. I've never in my life met a carpenter who couldn't build cabinets in the morning. Make it a craft. Uh, I share a workspace with Sarah Zatel, and, and uh, she's a sci-fi author, and I love her because she writes like it's chopping wood. And she writes three novels a year. And that's how she makes her living. And, and that's the piece right there, is to write for 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day under these three conditions. And so I want to remind you, one, never edit while you write. Never, ever. Never, ever. I can't see anyone, so nod your head. Um, and that second piece is to take that practice, to write for 10 minutes a day. And when you're writing for 10 minutes a day, you keep your fingers moving. You puke up the draft, swears and all. I mean that. And you write anywhere, anytime, no voodoo. And here's kind of the kicker on this. When I write, when I take my practice, when I'm just writing the garbage to get the, the poison out of me, I write about 250 words in those 10 minutes. If I only wrote for 10 minutes a day, we become worried that 1,000 words a year. I would write an entire book a year, and I would still have 23 hours and 50 minutes left to sleep and eat and edit that pile of puke into something I could sell to someone. So that's the piece, that's the technique. And I know I'm not supposed to pick from the podium, but this is my book that's out this fall. Thank you very much for your patience.